Okay, so we're just going to walk down here to the new uh, Bob Such Reserve and uh, you can see how close it will be. So. Yeah, I think we all respected uh, Bob Stutz, who was a nice bloke. Fortunately, he got brain cancer, so that was very unfortunate. <laughs> and the uh, libtards took advantage of it, of course. Uh, they didn't even let um, a week go by after he died before they started putting campaign posters up, and that's locked in on some of my videos. <laughs> You'll probably see. Uh, I think it's up here, but the whole thing has got a section down here. If you go down there, sort of thing. So we'll be looking at this whole little section to see if we f find any unique little spots. But um, as you can see, the weather is sort of coming in. As I said, it does seem to rain just before, just after Anzac Day for the first initial rains of the season that starts all the uh, uh, seed bank of the e ephemeral one season usually sometimes, sometimes semi-perennials uh, from seeds sort of thing so you have you know all your plantain type relations and things like that you know, your skeleton weeds and things like that they start germinating Oh, seven to nine days after the initial reasonable heavy rain sort of thing. So this is basically the beginning of the wet because we basically only have two seasons here. So as you can see, it's sort of somewhat similar looking soil. It looks like it did have a house down there sort of thing. If you look on Google Maps sort of thing. So it may have actually been Bob Such's ancestral home sort of thing, not the house down. He's turned it into, as you can see up here, We've got some uh, similar regolith coming through here, if you want to call it that. So, uh, I don't know how long before we might get some glids on here or not. But uh, it'll be interesting to keep an eye on it. Anyway, because if we don't get glids up there, we might get glids down here and then we'd better work between the two sites to work out why that is. Why is it so, sort of thing. So, looking back, ah, oh, it's not a big part, but it's not even a small part either, so, you know, just the right size, it's, it's the Goldilocks size, I suppose. <laughs> but I just thought you'd like to have a look at it at the end of the dry, before, um, you can see, that plant's hanging on, with barely no water, and so, so some of these plantains here are hanging on with barely no water sort of thing so, uh, and so I put one into the box yes, uh, last night to see if we can uh, replenish it sort of start it up for the season but uh, yeah I think things are looking up I think uh, yeah watch out as I said watch out for the wheel it's gonna I think it's gonna be pretty impressive it's gonna I think it's gonna drive the it's gonna be like a snowball effect you know it's gonna go to like snowballs towards the end of this year and then it's gonna uh, move into next year 2020 <laughs> hopefully I'll be able to blow a fly trap by then so just like add the cherry on the top of the cake sort of thing mm, is that an olive tree coming back if they took one out I don't know well, this one's finishing its uh, flowering rain so uh, yeah the eucalypts usually flower, uh, you know, these, these ones, the, the non macrocarp species flower over our summer season, some in January, some in February, some into March, sort of thing. You know, keeping their, some of them keeping their flowers open at night for the possums and etc. So, uh, yeah, don't know if that's a natural outcrop or they built it up there, but we'll, we'll check on it. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, so this is the car park to the shopping centre. So as you say, you just park your car in here, and, and uh, I suppose it's also good for the playground. You always keep the art, keep an eye on the kids, sort of thing. Make sure nothing untoward's happening. Uh, okay.
so that's about it. I think I'll shut the camera down here and uh, maybe one more. And there's the Abervale Park Community Centre. So yeah, it's all hunky dory sort of thing. And uh, yeah, very interesting. Anyway, that's it for this thing. I'll, I might just go back and look at the other park and might make another video if there's something else down there. Okay, over and out. See ya.